This is a video on how to burn DVDs. Just below the toolbar, click on Make Movie. After clicking on Make Movie, then on the left hand side, click on Discs. This is a nice close up of where Disc is. If you use the drop down menu besides the DVD, you get several choices, but we want to use DVD. Now, click on Settings to get this drop down menu. Let's make a close up of the drop down menu. There are three options. The first option is to create a disc content and then burn. This means that you burn directly to the DVD. The second one is to create the content but don't burn. While in the third one you burn from the previously created content. So three comes right after two. They work together. Now method one does a, a quick job, it's easy to do, it's not the very best, but it's still very good. Now two and three, rendering and then burning, that is the very best. There is a fourth way and I use it frequently and I use it with a purpose. First I create an MPEG-2 file. What this does, this will leave a video onto my computer for teaching purposes. I then bring the MPEG-2 file onto the timeline and burn directly to the DVD. No, we are not done. After we're done with our project, we now have to clean up the computer. While still in Pinnacle, click on File, drop down to Delete Auxiliary Files, and delete the auxiliary files. Next, go to search and find video underscore TS files. These are the files that were created when rendering the movie for the DVD. We got to get rid of those. If you find more than one video underscore TS file on your computer, you need to use file location, determine which one it is you want to delete, and maybe both of them. Two more things to keep your computer clean. One is disk cleanup and the other one is defrag. After running disk cleanup, you can delete those files. Then you're ready to run defrag. Just remember, a happy computer makes better videos.